Hi, welcome to Crack Shot Chronicles. Today I'd like to discuss how to become a better shot. Now, if you've never handled a firearm before, I strongly urge you to find somebody who's thoroughly familiar with firearms and is a good shot, preferably a firearms instructor, and have them teach you the principles of firearm safety. Without the principles of firearm safety, you're, you're just an accident looking for a place to happen. Once you've mastered that, this said instructor should teach you the principles of marksmanship. Once you have the principles of marksmanship, you ha now have the foundation for which to build your shooting skills. Without those two key features, learning how to shoot is just making an, is an accident looking for a place to happen. Now there's a lot of people out there that tell you that you could buy yourself into more accurate shooting by buying a laser or by buying an, a scope or buying a, an, a hydro, a, what do they call that? The, the holographic optic to mount on your weapon. These things don't make you a better shot. They make it easier for you to hit, but that does not make you a better shot. The only thing that makes you a better shot is practice, practice, practice. It doesn't matter what caliber gun you use or what type of firearm you use. Practicing is your shooting skills is what's going to make you build on them. It's kind of like you didn't know how to run when you were born. You had to first learn how to crawl. Once you've mastered crawling, you started standing. Once you mastered standing, you started walking one step at a time. After you've mastered walking, then you started running. You didn't just get out of the, the, the crib and take off running. Firearms is no different. Learning to shoot well is no different. You must start at the basics and build up on that. And you cannot buy accuracy. I wish, God, I, I wish, God, I wish that you could buy accuracy in a can. I would be chugging gallons of it. I'd have a keg of it. When I was in the Marine Corps, I was an extremely good shot. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I had to go through a series of life-changing events. I went through a divorce. Divorces are expensive, and that kept me from shooting. I was trying to raise children. Uh, being an out-of-home dad is very, very stressful. And I found myself working so many hours just to pay my, my, my child support and pay my bills that I didn't have time to shoot. So about 10 years passed and then I had time to shoot. Well, once I picked up my first gun and went shooting, guess what? I couldn't hit Mother Earth from a dead stop. And Earth is a pretty big target. So it, that made me realize that shooting, just like any sport, is a perishable skill. If you don't use it, you lose it. If you don't practice, at least <coughs> twice a month, you will not make gains. If you practice shooting once a month, you will maintain your skill level. But you have to practice at least twice a month. I practice every weekend. As a result, I'm, I'm starting to get back up to where I used to be. Now, I've grown older. My eyes are not the same as they used to be. I can't get in those shooting positions as efficiently like the sitting, the kneeling, the prone. Still, I can shoot well enough to hit my mark. Not as good as I used to when I was in my 20s, but I can still shoot. Same thing with you. As you get older, your shooting skills will perish. So the only thing you can do to keep from losing them altogether is to practice frequently. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there who will tell you you could buy optics, you could buy uh, lasers, you could buy scopes, and these will make you shoot better. No, they will not make you a better shot. They will make it easier for you to hit, which kind of, sort of, makes you a better shot, but not really. A good shot <coughs> could take any firearm, pick it up, aim at the target, and shoot it. As long as he's familiar 
with the dynamics of that firearm, he can shoot and hit his target. That's a good shot. A great shot would do that with more precision. But you cannot buy accuracy. You cannot fake it. <clears throat> like sports, you have to practice or you fail. Shooting is the same way. You must practice, practice, practice. So go out to the range, wear out your gun, and enjoy shooting. Now, one other thing you need to do is when you go shooting, don't just go up there and expend the ammo and say, hey, I've been practicing. That is not practice. Practice requires setting goals. What do you intend to achieve when you go shooting? Do you want to shoot tighter groups? Do you want to shoot at greater distances? Do you want to be able to draw from the holster in less time? Whatever your goal is, write it down. Do your practice sessions. When you finish those practice sessions, it's, take, this, take your range card home and review it. Next week, you try it again and see if you can do it in less time or with tighter groups. The thing is, you want to establish a pattern where you can track your improvement. If you're not tracking your improvement or tracking you, you know, your decline in shooting, whether it's good or bad, doesn't matter. You have good days when you're shooting. You have bad days when you're shooting. <clears throat> but by tracking this, you can actually see your progress. And that's how you become better at shooting. Your shooting stands, the way you hold your grip, has to be consistent because the more you alter your shooting position, your shooting stance, the how you hold the gun, your grip, uh, the more you alter these things, the more it's going to affect point of aim, point of impact. Changing ammo from one brand to another will throw you off in t on tracking whether you're getting better at shooting. Different companies have different recipes for the same bullet. And at, they use different powders, and it could burn at a faster rate or slower rate. Uh, if you're shooting, practicing one day with a 110 grain uh, 9 millimeter, <clears throat> and the next time you go out to the range, you're practicing with a 147 grain 9 millimeter, your point of aim may be higher or lower that day than it was the day before. So that throws you off on are you making progress? You'll keep changing your point of aim, thus never making progress. You must use, to get better, to become a better shot, you must use the same gun, the same ammo, every time. If you make it, make yourself challenges, figure out <coughs> where do I, where's my point of aim to hit center mass at 15 yards. Find out what your point of aim to hit center mass is at 25 yards, at 30 yards, at 40 yards, at 50 yards. A handgun is effective all the way up to 50 yards. Beyond that, it, it can be effective. It's up to you how far you want to shoot. For most scenarios, no more than 50 yards is handgun um, usage. Beyond 50 yards, it's time to bring a rifle. But the bottom line is, the point I'm trying to make is you have to set goals to determine what you're going to do so that, and then track your progress so that you can determine if you're getting better or if you're getting worse. If you're getting worse, sometimes you can get somebody to go shooting with you and they can observe you shooting. They can tell you what you're doing wrong. Most of the time, I'll make mistakes and I'll keep making the same mistakes and I don't see it until somebody points it out to me because they're being objective. They're looking at me my whole body. I can only see what's in my field of view. And if I'm concentrating on the front sights, trying to hit a target down range, I'm not paying attention to whether or not I'm in the right shooting position. So that's why you need a buddy to shoot with. Following these simple suggestions that I make will definitely make you a better shot and you will see your groups get tighter. You'll see your, your reaction times get faster when you from drawing from the holster and firing. You will definitely appreciate your ability to hit your target without the added advantages of the equipment that you want to buy to make you a better shot. If you master shooting with a regular gun, doesn't matter what kind it is, adding things like laser sights and optics <coughs> will just make it even easier for you to hit the target. Does it make you a better shot? just makes it easier for you to hit the target. There is a difference. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe and please comment or like.
I appreciate you watching. Thank you for watching Crackshot Chronicles. Good night.